Where with Nat Fife, Nat obviously was a disappointing day out there for us. It was. I thought for half the game we fought really well and played in good system and shape. But our depth was tested. We got a few injuries and their better, more experienced players got on top of the midfield battle and just ultimately went forward and scored. West Coast seemed to have a bit more run in them, especially in the second half. Yeah, that's sort of a byproduct of... Uh, getting that scoreboard ascendancy. They started to use the width of the ground really well. They play Optus quite well, and we just couldn't go with them. Once they got a run on with a couple of goals, they started beating us in the contest, and from there it was really hard to play against. How did Justin see it post-game? Disappointed. Um, we prepared ourselves really well for this game. We've had some good momentum. Um, we're clearly a class uh, below West Coast still, but that gap's going to get closer and closer as our younger players continue to get more footy in and... Um, and more experience and we get to play them again later in the year hopefully in front of our home fans. Both back lines seem quite undermanned I guess for today but West Coast seemed to be able to expose our forwards a bit more or our defence a bit more. Yeah I thought our forwards really got on top of their backs for the first half particularly and fought really hard all day but ultimately it was a depth test today Tom I thought. Um, the, their players that came in and, and filled roles probably stood up better than what ours did. Um, uh, and we'll just have to go back and keep training up more players so that we're not reliant um, on our starting 18 only. Heath Chapman showed a lot of courage down back after you hurt his shoulder. Yeah, really brave from young Heath, um, a tough player. and Hopefully his shoulder's not too bad, but sometimes we need players to play through a bit of adversity, and he thought he was really brave today. You didn't go forward much today. Is that mainly because we just needed you in the contest because West Coast were on top there? A little bit. I think, still think I played... A few minutes forward, um, but just team balance. We started losing in the contest. I had to be in around the engine room a bit more. Ray Shaw gave a bit today. Yeah, I thought um, Andy and Dave and Sean Darcy in particular uh, fought hard for four quarters. We didn't have many winners across the whole day, but those three in particular were. And there's a week to prepare for Brisbane. What do we need to work on? We need to get back. Um, uh, review that game, get back to training really quick. The season's going to ebb and flow. It is a marathon, 22 rounds. We've had a really good run and we've just been touched up today. So um, we'll regroup quickly um, and look to put in a really good performance against Brisbane here in seven days' time. The fans will be a bit flat, just like the players are, um, but we're 4-3. Do you have a message for them? Yeah, really, they deserve to be flat. We're really flat. We'll be hurting for the next 24 hours. But from there, it's important that we understand that the season um, does take ebbs and flows. We are building towards our best footy. We're nowhere near it at the moment. Um, and today gives us some great learning. So um, at 4-3, we've given ourselves a good platform. We have another home game against Brisbane and we'll be looking um, to get the win there again.